Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome back to another nighttime boring event. Uh, HOA and I are so excited to be here with you guys. Baxter is joining us tonight for a little late night pouring session. <laughs> Tonight's pour is actually going to be a two step process um, inspired by something that I saw when we were at the hotel in Virginia. There were these two big pieces of art outside the elevator banks, and they were really beautiful. These gorgeous, beautiful bold deep colors like burnt orange and dark red and yellow and it was so pretty and there was like a bunch of lines painted on it and then there was almost like a reverse stencil like a white stencil painted on top of that and it was really really cool and every time we went up and down the elevator I was like oh that's awesome I gotta try that so I was trying to think of how to make that happen and I actually have some stencils that I really really like let me show you what they look like this is what I'm just holding it on the black canvas so you can actually see what it looks like. This one's real pretty. Kind of a tree branch with some bird cages hanging. And then there was another one. This little hummingbird friend with some pretty blossoms on a tree branch. And then the last one I have is this one, which is a bird in a cage. And so sort of a theme here. <laughs> and I have three 12 by 12 canvases that tonight we're going to pour on. And then after they're dry, we're going to do these stencils on. So this is going to be a two part video we'll shoot the first part tonight and then hopefully tomorrow they will be dry and we'll be able to do the stencil part so let me show you what we're using this is a 12 inch by 12 inch gallery wrap canvas from artist loft i have painted the sides and edges and taped the back and put my push pins in i have three of those um, i have painted the sides and edges with my quinacridone violet from golden let me show you my colors because they are beauties just move these over here for the moment Okay, the first one we are using is my good friend, the Pyrrole Orange, <laughs> which I'm really having fun with. I've never been one of my colors, but I'm really just loving it right now. Makes me happy. So everything is mixed with mixed pour tonight. You can get your own mix by emailing Krista at Krista8974 at gmail.com, and she will hook you up. This is good stuff. Um, I have added some water to the mix tonight just to thin it out just a smidge because I do want to do flip cups and I do want blending. So this is our pyro orange from Golden. And then we have, let's see, this lovely bright creature. <laughs> this Amsterdam Azo Yellow Lemon. My top is coming off of that one. Very pretty stuff. And I have actually added a little bit of my white to this to tone it down just a touch melting into itself pretty pretty quick so that's our azo lemon yellow from Amsterdam then we are using this beautiful dung <laughs> which I'm so happy about I just got this one in the mail the other day this is Golden's Quinacridone Violet I've been playing with the Quinacridone Crimson which is gorgeous but I love this violet too so pretty gorgeous gorgeous stuff okay that dog is just running all over the place. <laughs> Get the zoomies. Yep. We're also using our usual suspects, my Decorate Americana Decor Metallics in 24 karat gold. Super pretty, blingy friend. Gorgeous, gorgeous stuff. And I have a little bit of different tonight. This is Amsterdam in the pearl blue with a teeny tiny bit of satin enamels in it. Mostly because I have it and I want to use it up. So. We'll see if we see any pearly effects from it. That's the pearl blue with some satin enamels. And when I say some, I mean about an ounce of Amsterdam and about a teaspoon, if that, of the satin enamels. Much less of the satin enamels than the Amsterdam. Okay, so those are our colors. Kind of the same as we had in our groovy series, which I will link for you. We're going to do, let's see HOA, what do you say? Three flip cups? Or two flip cups and a straight pour. <laughs> mm, that's very compelling. Two flip I would cups. say two flip cups and a straight pour. Two flip cups and a straight pour. Okay, we're still going to layer them all the same though. Okay, so we're going to start off with some of this gorgeous quinacridone violet. And we're going to do dirty cups too. Okay. Loving that. And I'm using this as the color that I want to pour into because I do want that mostly as the base coat. That's the color that I painted the sides and edges with. 
Okay, next one we're gonna put some gold in there from up high because we want it to sink. Okay, and we're gonna come in with some of our beautiful pyro orange. cups so for our first one we're gonna do you said flip cup right I was thinking that if they're triptychs perhaps the shell be the same style I'll do okay so we'll do three flip cups that's fine okay we're gonna put this one right in the middle here actually should I put down a puddle gold I should well, it's helps. I'm gonna thin this down just a smidge center and we're gonna flip the first one onto there are you ready husband of awesomeness eyelash here we go there's one <laughs> that was fast fast it was like wasn't there one frame next time it's was there <laughs> some cold in the center of this one are you ready darling yes mother there's two and then the last one such a pretty cup already. Ready? I lost. There's number three. All right, so let's keep that one over. We'll bring number one over. And let's flip him up. Ready? Yep. Flip it a little bit. Okay. That's pretty. Do the second one. Ready? Okay. And that's also pretty. And now we'll do the third one. Back to the first one. Take our cup off. Let's tilt this out. Let's see what happens. There's plenty of paint on here, so I'm not going to worry about putting down a base coat. You need a flow extender? Yeah. Go over that corner and back to the center. I'm going to go off this edge now. Thank you. 
that one's got more more yellow in it than the first one does. Very cool though. Let's check out this last one. There he is. Good boy, Baxi. Come on, honey. Let's tilt up this one now. Maybe that off to that side. Good boy. To the center. I think a Mack truck just came in here. That looks pretty cool. Do you think that one's okay with that much yellow in it, HOA? Hmm? Do you think that one with that much yellow is okay, or should I yeah. tilt some of that off? No, cool? I think it's fine. Okay. I'm going to wipe my hands off real quick, then we're going to torch these. And then we will be done with this part. And we will come back tomorrow to do the second part. happy with how those are looking. What do you think, HOA? I think they're brilliant. Okay. So I'm going to clean up my edges and my sides, and HOA is going to take you in for a nice little close-up of them while I do that. And then we will see you guys tomorrow when these are dry, and we will hopefully be applying our stencil. Hello, puppy dog. There's nothing for you over here. No, there's not. Silly dog. Go on. Get away from here. <laughs> what do you got? Get out of here, you. Proverbial bull in the child. Right? It is. Okay, so these are looking pretty cool. I like that a lot. I'm very excited about these. I hope that they dry well, and I think they will. So I love these, these colors together. I like that you can see that beautiful quinacridone violet. You can see hints of the pyro orange in this one, which is really pretty, with some gold cells popping up. A little bit of white in there for contrast. This one has more yellow and orange in it. And this one's kind of got more gold on the surface, but there's a lot of really pretty transparent layers happening in here. So I think these are pretty cool. I will show you them when they are dry and we will do our stencils on top. Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome back to uh, the second part of our reverse stenciling. Um, our three 12 by 12s are dry now and they came out really, really pretty. I love how they look. Nice and bright, happy, cheerful colors. Love this one a lot. Really, really cool. And then this one that had more of the yellow and the orange in it. So now that these three are dry, now we can go ahead and apply our stencils. And the ones that I've picked out, have this pretty hummingbird for this one. This one is a tree branch with a cage and then this one is another branch with two pretty cages on there so what we're going to do right now is we're going to tape these on and then we're going to mix up some of our gel gloss so the thing that i want to do differently tonight than i have been doing before previously when i put the gel gloss on i just put the first layer as just gel gloss by itself but what i want to do tonight is actually mix some of the gel gloss with a little bit of white just to give it some opacity. And then we're gonna mix up some, this little piggy comet and use that one as the color for the stencils. So hoping that actually works out the way I want. I'm gonna take this off so that I don't make a mess. I don't want to, so that we know. Okay. 
Sorry, Dolphins. So we are taking these to keep them flat. And I'm having trouble if it's not flat, so make sure they are taking them securely. So those are ready to go. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to mix up a little bit of the Liquitex gel gloss with a little bit of my Amsterdam titanium white. So that's a little Dixie cup. The Liquitex gel gloss. Gloss gel. I still say it backwards. <laughs> the Liquitex gloss gel. A scoop of this. We're going to put it in the cup. Kind of a bigger scoop. Okay, we're going to take some of our titanium white. I'm not going to take a lot, just a little bit. And I'm just going to mix that in with the gel gloss. Because I want to give it some opacity. up with the gel gloss and especially since it's white it's hard to see so so that's fine okay I'm gonna put that over there hands off real quick all right so we're gonna put our first layer and notice I'm cleaning my hands so that I don't get any white paint or anything around the painting Alright, so we're going to use this first, and then the next one we're going to mix up is some of that Comet, but I guess we'll do that later. Okay, let's use a smaller palette knife. Okay, so, are you in frame? Yeah. I'm going to take this white, and I'm going to just put it over these open areas. I'm not going to do a bunch of different colors, because I just want the white stencil on this one. Here we go, cross your fingers each way. safely snoozing away. Yes, Baxter's inside the house. <laughs> I guess we should start over here. Let's see if that's not just Baby wipes are your friend.
I think white is going to be really striking on that background that we poured. I'm actually quite excited about these. gloss because we are using this for all three. We're going to use, this is this little piggy in Comet. Really, really pretty iridescent purpley pink color shift on there. Which is awesome. We're just going to take a nice scoop of this. Put it right in there. Put that one. And we're going to mix these up. Hold it away from your face. You don't want to be breathing that in. You should wear a mask. Mostly powder is all incorporated into the gel glasses. Okay, so this is just going to be really, you can see what color it is on the spatula, yeah? I think we get that all mixed up. It's, I really like comments, it's a cool color. Alright, so I guess we'll start from the beginning. Okay. Um, I'm going to use this square tip one, just because I like it. And we're just going to go right on top of where the white is. So again, the reason for using the white with the gel gloss was because I wanted it to be really opaque on top of the really pretty background that we poured the other day. And I felt like if I just used Comet by itself on top of the gel gloss, then I wouldn't get that opacity of the white like I really wanted. So that's why we did that. going to be lush with the canvas. It is going to be a little bit proud, sticking up. And hopefully it's going to keep our paint from bleeding underneath the stencil. It's just one color. <laughs> not exactly cheesy. It's, uh, easier. Um, not cheesier. Easier. All right. So let's take the tape off. Hold your stencil down onto the canvas when you're moving the tape off. Awesomeness. Okay, we're gonna lift this up. Here we go. 
Da. That looks really pretty. Can you see the comment on that? It's really cool. Okay, I'm happy with that. Awesome. Let's unveil the other ones. this a lot. I will show you these when they are dry in the sun. So thanks for being here. We'll be right back. Looks really cool. I like it. Um, you like it? Uh -huh. Okay. Hey puppy dog. Should we look at the dried results? Don't you go near those. You leave them alone now. Come on, go see daddy. <laughs> Okay, let's look at some dried results. So, I kind of love how these turned out. They are so pretty. I'm loving the background pour, which was the flip cup that we did. And I really like the stencil. I love the white. And then I hope you guys can see that comet kind of blinging on there. Let me show you the other one. I love this one though. I think this turned out really, really pretty. This is the one with more yellow. I think that was the second one we poured. And then let me show you the hummingbird. Sorry about all the beeping and <laughs> lawn mowers and leaf blowers. This one turned out so pretty. I just love that hummingbird on there. Really, really cute. And we did still keep that nice defined edge. Not quite as crisp since we added the white on there, but I like it still. I think it looks very pretty. It doesn't look messy or blurry. And you can see the comet blinging there on the hummingbird. There we go. That beautiful iridescent purpley violet shift. So pretty. But I really like this one. Let's add an airplane to the mix because it's not noisy enough. <laughs> I love this one. And let me show you the other one. Okay. There we go. Really pretty. It's a beautiful effect. I really like these. And like I said in the beginning, these were inspired by some artwork that was in the hotel at the Fluid Art Boutique. And uh, they just turned out really, really pretty. I love that white, shifty, color shifty of the comet on top of there next on top of that beautiful colorful background so i'm going to put these up for you too so you can see those two together and then i'll hold this one actually can you hold that one HOA? can you come a little closer here we go so there's all three of them together a little bit closer there we go perfect beautiful so that was really fun i really like these and i kind of see these as a triptych sort of hanging on the same wall pretty close to each other I think it's going to look beautiful. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Thank you so much for being here with us today. Um, I hope you guys watched the After Fab collab, which happened this morning, May 22nd. Uh, that was part one from 10 a.m. Pacific time until I think about 1130 
and then there was my video and next Sunday on the 29th I will be starting off this part two of the after fab collab which is gonna be a lot of fun and I will link I think Nate did a playlist for the first part and we will have a playlist for you for the second part also so be sure for watching for that uh, I also have a collaboration coming up with the Massey boys mine is gonna be on Wednesday theirs is gonna be on Tuesday we are recreating each other's favorite pours so I'm very excited to see how they do with mine and I'm really really excited and have some fun stuff planned for which pour of theirs that I'm going to do so be sure to check those out next week on Tuesday and Wednesday and uh, on Sunday the 29th will be the after the fab after fab collab <laughs> <laughs> so much fun to say. Thank you guys so much for being here for me and HOA. Say hi, HOA. And Baxi. Hi, Bax. Say love you guys. See you real soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>